it wasn't very long ago that when most people thought of the military, they mainly just thought of active duty forces on guard against conventional threats. But now, the face of the military and the nature of national defense are both very different. Today, people serving in uniform while also working in non-military fields are quite common. I'm a 35 Foxtrot, which is an intelligence analyst. As an expressive arts facilitator, the type of patients I work with are long-term, and we'll just do art together. I play music, I try to make very good conversation, and let them know that I care about them. Our main focus is to evacuate injured soldiers off the battlefield and try and get them from the point where they were injured to a medical treatment facility within one hour. I'm an electrical engineer. We'll design the building plans give all the specifications, do the calculations for any kind of electrical issues they're going to have with the building, and then we'll put out a set of plans that can be bid on and built by a contractor. For centuries, the citizen soldiers who make up the Army National Guard, in all its various forms going back to the days of the colonial militia, have been their community's first line of defense during invasion, natural disasters, and other emergencies. During a wartime activation, my unit would do general support cargo missions, moving mail, moving food, water, ammo, anything that somebody on a remote fob might need. I work at Reno Orthopedic Clinic as a patient services representative. Check patients in, get their insurance information, and then they'll come back with us actually to check out, make future appointments. My unit in wartime will do anything from route clearance to laying out defensive measures to setting up fobs. A FOB is a forward operating base. I work for the Nevada Department of Transportation in the right-of-way division. I am an admin assistant and I also do some accounting stuff, accounts payable, accounts receivable. In country, we do everything from medevac to search and rescue to fire buckets during fire season. As a civilian, I am a professor of construction technology. I teach my students different aspects of construction, whether it be blueprint reading, estimating, or contract documents. It just depends on the class. When Guard soldiers aren't training to maintain proficiency in their military occupational specialties, their civilian jobs can be very different from what they do in the Guard. Sometimes, their civilian pursuits put them in a variety of unexpected places. We have different missions, combat support, as well as many other things. We're actually the Quick Reaction Force Unit for Northern Nevada. If there was any sort of natural disaster, we would be the first ones called up to help the civilian police and fire department. I work at Starbucks, currently a supervisor. I make coffee, interact with customers, help problem solve if customers have any issues, a lot of different domains. We do transportation of ammo to food, supplies. It varies on what our mission is. My title is a medical assistant, and I assist with procedures with doctors, nurse practitioners, rooming patients, taking their vitals, just asking them how they are overall, just build a relationship. In wartime, our mission would be anything regarding the aspects of mobility, countermobility, and survivability. In peacetime, our mission is to support any state natural disasters such as wildfires in conjunction with the local emergency response. As a civilian, I work with autistic children and teenagers. I tutor and teach essential living skills that everyone would need in their lives. What I like most about my civilian job is that I get to help them learn new things. Guard soldiers' various careers aren't necessarily glamorous, but their work maintains the world as we know it. As the old saying goes, the biggest disasters occur when the everyday things we take for granted suddenly stop working. If our unit was deployed, our unit would be tasked with maintaining vehicles, making sure they're able to roll at any time that is needed. The vehicles we usually work on are Humvees, five tons, anything with wheels that needs repaired. My civilian job is city carrier for the United States Postal Service. Go in, in the morning, we get the route ready for the street, and then we deliver mail to all of our customers. In a wartime deployment, our unit would forward deploy across the battlefield and we would support those units on the ground with tactical and strategic communications. I do the op orders, the planning of the missions. As a civilian, I work for the city of Reno as a police officer. I don't have a normal day of work. Nothing I do is typical. There's no standard thing that I do on a daily basis. It's ever-changing, which makes it so great. We do convoy operations. We go to places like Virginia City or Truckee, Tahoe. We also make sure our trucks are ready to go for convoys. I am a caregiver. I help elderly people make sure they eat supper, get into bed. I help dress them sometimes. I love my residents. That's my favorite thing about my job. It's just, it makes my job worth it because I know I'm helping somebody and I'm caring for somebody. While most people only expect to see the Guard in times of emergency, they actually see Guard members serving their community daily in various roles. 
These roles can be as diverse as teaching, maintaining order in an office environment, providing basic services that maintain civilization, or just letting people know they care. Throughout this series, we've explored just a few examples of how the occupational diversity of the Army Guard automatically involves soldiers in their local community, because after all, the Army National Guard is the local community. Reporting for the 106th Public Affairs Detachment, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Shane Klistinski.